What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. I love lasers. I've had a ton of fun using my lasers to make cool stuff for craft shows, for my kids, for my house, for myself. And I know there's a lot of people out there that have questions on which laser is right for them. Because I make these cool YouTube videos, I have the privilege to own a few lasers myself, including the X-Tool S1, the We Create Vision, and the X-Tool M1. If you happen to not own any of those and you're wondering which one you should get, hopefully in this video I can show you all the pros and cons to each machine and give you all the details you need to decide which one is right for you. I was just going to compare the S1 to the We Create Vision, but to give a little bit more coverage of the topic and to cast a wider net, I decided to throw the M1 in there as well. In essence, this video can kind of be described as a, uh, let's find out which enclosed diode laser is the best. These machines have a lot of differences and I really want to get to those, but before that, I'm going to quickly go over all of the things they have in common so that you can understand the standard package if you do buy one of these machines. All three lasers have a 600 millimeters per second speed, so they're super, super fast and really good at what they do. They all have 360 degree rotary engraving capabilities. So if you're interested in solely doing tumblers, each of these machines can accomplish that. Because all of these three lasers are enclosed and have a protective plastic shield, you don't need to use eye protection and staring directly at your laser while it's operating will not hurt your eyes. All three of them are made of durable, hard plastic and metal in some areas. They're very, very sturdy. They're very, very safe. And they're not your average rinky dink gold lasers. Their build quality is all top notch. Each one of these lasers can engrave on wood, metal, leather, slate, paper, fabric, acrylic, ceramic, almost anything that you can possibly imagine. The only difference is their cutting power, which we'll talk about in a minute. In terms of safety, if you open up your lid while any of these lasers is running, it will shut down immediately. That way you will not be exposed to any laser radiation. All three of these lasers are considered class one lasers, which means they have the highest safety certification as opposed to something like an open gantry system, which can't necessarily be used inside of your house. They all feature a top-notch smoke extraction system that includes a ventilation fan and an exhaust hose to remove smoke and fumes generated during the engraving process. I did include this on the similarities portion, but I do want to throw in there, the S1 hose is a little bit more durable than the other two hoses. They're all plug and play, very, very easy to use with their software being easy to navigate. And they're also all compatible with Lightburn. Let's skip right ahead to what makes these guys different from each other because that's the most important thing you'd wanna know, right? The S1 takes the cake on laser modules because it comes with a two watt IR module, which is perfect for engraving on metal, a 20 watt diode module for ultra fine cutting and a 40 watt diode module for that extra kick of power that you might need. The Vision has a 20 watt diode laser module and the X-Tool M1's laser module being 10 watts makes it the weakest of the group, but it also comes with a blade attachment so you can smoothly cut softer materials like fabric and vinyl. So I think that's points for the M1. These lasers having different modules is actually gonna be a really crucial point to which one you choose and which one is right for you. For instance, if you're looking to do cutouts on quarter inch material, the S1 and the We Create are gonna be good for you, but the M1 is not. And if you're wanting to do t-shirts, the M1 is gonna be good for you and the We Create and the S1 are not. So keep that in mind. One of the most important questions that you might have is engraving area. What is the size of the bed and how big of an area can you engrave on? The X-Tool M1's engraving area is 385 by 300 millimeters and its cutting area with the blade is 365 by 300 millimeters. And the We Create Vision has a 420 millimeter by 290 millimeter engraving space. The X-Tool S1 also has the biggest bed size of the three lasers at 498 millimeters by 319 millimeters. So if you're looking for a laser that can cut bigger and better, the X-Tool S1 is that laser for you. It has a pass-through underneath that makes it so that the engraving area can go up to 3,000 millimeters. Obviously, you just gotta spend a little bit more money and get the conveyor belt system that goes with it. One thing that I really do like about the We Create Vision and the X-Tool M1 is they both have an onboard camera. And I actually like the We Create Visions a little bit better because it's at the center of your lid, whereas the X-Tool M1 is at the back of your laser, which at times, because it's not a top-down view, it can skew the image that you're looking at. The S1 doesn't have a camera on board, and you might think that that's a ding on the product, but it makes up for it in its pinpoint positioning system, which neither the M1 or the We Create Vision have. The X-Tool S1 uses an algorithms to establish a precise, absolute coordinate layout and display the laser module's position in real time in the software. If you're engraving on a square, you can go in and set the top left of that square, and then you can set the bottom right of that square, and it will frame around that position almost as if you have a camera. That way you know exactly where you're gonna be engraving. One of the other big differences between the X-Tool brand and the We Create brand is the way that they focus their lasers. 
With the M1 and the S1, your laser drives itself over to your materials and then it'll auto calibrate itself inside the system, which is perfect and great and I love it. The difference with the WeCreate Vision is that when it auto calibrates itself, the entire top of the machine will lift to the appropriate engraving area, which makes it a more vertical based machine, which allows you to engrave at a higher thickness. The WeCreate Vision can engrave on one millimeter to 140 millimeters, which is better than the 125 millimeters you get from the Xtool S1. Also, to get to those thicknesses, they don't auto lift. You have to have riser bases for both the M1 and the S1. I mentioned the software earlier and how easy they are to use, but the one thing that the WeCreate Vision software has on the XTool software is that if you're using, say, three millimeter basswood, you can click on it, click on whatever it is that you're engraving onto that basswood. It'll give you a preview right here on the desktop. I'll go ahead and click on it because it'll show you in big form. So if you decide you want to go at a 250 millimeters per second at 80% power, this watch right here, click on that. It'll add that setting to your piece immediately. That is phenomenal. In terms of accessories, your Xtool S1 basic kit comes with a honeycomb panel and an air assist, but you can also get the automatic conveyor feeder, the S1 riser base, the RA2 Pro, which is made for 360 engraving, the desktop smoke purifier, and the S1 fire safety set. The basic pack for the M1 is just that, it is the M1 plus $100 in free materials but you can get the riser base, the air assist, the RA2 Pro, and the desktop smoke purifier. In reference to accessories for the Vision, the basic pack just includes the air assist, and similar to the honeycomb panel that the S1 has, it has this built-in grate for cutting with your laser. But you can upgrade your purchase and get the rotary set and the fume extractor. After hearing about all of their features, I'm sure the last qualifying factor that will help you decide which one you wanna get is the price tag, right? For the Xtool S1 20 watt basic kit, it is $18.99. For the We Create Vision, which is also a 20 watt kit, it is $12.99. And for the Xtool M1 10 watt, which also includes the blades for cutting vinyl and fabric, it is $1,099. All of these companies are always putting on sales, so if you're gonna buy something, click one of my links down below on a sale day because they have 10%, 20% discounts all of the time. All right, so I've provided you with all of the information that you could possibly need, and I wanna hear in the comment section down below what you guys think of these lasers. I usually don't give my opinions to what I think is the winner, and ultimately, I just like to communicate my experience with the tools that I'm using. But I will say, in terms of in-house lasers, I think the WeCreate Vision takes the cake over the M1 and the S1, because the S1 is pretty big and has a large footprint, and the M1 just doesn't have as much power. In terms of workshop lasers, I think the S1 takes the cake, because like I said before, it's got more power and more versatility than the other two lasers. And if you happen to be somebody who focuses on craft shows, and needs portability, then the M1 is probably best for you because it is the smallest of the three lasers. I would really like to hear what you guys think about these lasers and which one you think would be the perfect build for your shop. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Please, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. If you watched this video and thought to yourself, man, that was so good. How can I give this guy money to repay him? Then you're in luck. I have a lot of stuff listed on my Etsy store that you can buy to support the channel. So head on over to reformationwoodshop.etsy.com to grab something.